Hmm. I'm wondering where my subscription box is that I got the other day. Hmm. I've been looking all over for that. Where could it be? BAM! It's the BAM horror box, y'all. The long-awaited since June 15th of this year. Long-awaited BAM horror box. Let's see. I've got two of them, actually. This is the smallest of the two, so we're going to start by opening this one. We're just going to tear this motherfucker in. Oh. Bam, horror. July of 2019. Well, at least I opened them in the correct order. Looks like we've got signed fan art print, which is The Exorcist. Looks like a hmm. Someone put their initials down at the bottom there. Wonder who signed it. Let's see. Frank Dean. Cool. Fan art hat pins, uh, Hannibal Lecter, Bam Horror Exclusive Vampirella, nice, Tuesday Night Kristen Nightmare on Elm Street, four signed sunglasses, hmm, wonder who got some of those lucky shades, well, this is pretty cool, you know, this could go up somewhere, I like the new design, Let's see what else they got in here. This must be the BAM exclusive Vampirella. I'm not sure. It says, check out this BAM horror exclusive cover of Vampirella number one by Dynamite Comics. Every copy is signed by cover artist Ken Hisari. Hmm. Well, there you have Mr. Hisari's mark. Very cool. We'll put it on the rack and treasure it always. What else have we got in here? Oh! A bit of poster. Looks like one of these difficult to opens. Maybe we can shorten that up slightly. We're not just going to leave it rolled up anyway, right? Well, maybe. Depending on what it is. Wow. Why on earth? Well, I'm bound and determined to get into this damn thing. Looks like a like a cartoon panel. D twenty six cartoon panel. Okay. Great. I had to basically destroy the thing to open it. Oh, we got a one-up. Congratulations. You got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Well, that's uh, great. Let's see. Oh, it's one of those sunglasses, I guess. Signed by the lady Tuesday night Kristen nightmare on Elm Street sunglasses so Tuesday night signed these glasses well I don't imagine they would fit me but I suppose I could always put them on one of the Halloween masks as I often do and remember not to wipe that off because it's a signature Very cool Love me some autographed stuff well worth the wait. Yay I ought to put that with it so that way it confirms its authenticity Yes, and what else is in here? Oh, Some black paper, okay well and we've got our weird BAM horror pin 
Um, it's a Hannibal Lecter. Kind of a strangely colored Hannibal Lecter with a death's head moth in his middle of his forehead there. Yeah, if I had a jacket or something that would hold it, I'd probably wear something like that. Pretty cool. Of course, I wouldn't want people to think that I'm like Hannibal Lecter or something, but... Oh, well. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, not a lot for me to display, but I mean, we uh, did get some things. Got this cool exorcist... Um, uh, it's a fan art print, and it's signed by Frank Dean, or at least initialed by him. Then I got this other comic book, Vampirella, signed by cover artist Ken Heisar. Kind of like Kaisar, Caesar, but with an H. We got these uh, cool signed sunglasses from Tuesday night from Nightmare on Elm Street. So they try to encompass a lot of different horrors in their box. And that's about all. Other than the strange comic book or, you know, cartooning uh, sheet that we got here. It's labeled D26, but I'm not sure what the story is behind this. It doesn't seem to have a description on the, you know, tell all of what's what's in the box. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Tell me, guys, am I crazy? Well, it may very well be. Well... Short but sweet, that was the BAM Horror Box of July 2019. Strangely enough, we also got the August BAM Horror Box. So I'll be doing that one up next. Anyhow, thank you for watching, you guys. And make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and get notifications going so you get notified when we release new videos out here. If you notify yourself now, then the next one I put out, another BAM Horror Box, you'll know when it's coming out. So that would, wouldn't that be a great advantage to have? Yes, indeed it would. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Just to give you guys one comprehensive look at the BAM Horror Box overall take for the month of July 2019. Also, while we're at it, I wanted to take some time to show you guys my Friday the 13th playing cards that came with the Creeper Crate, the 1990s killer, or 1990s horror box. These cards are pretty cool. Got a lot of various incarnations of Jason Voorhees. You got Jason X there. Really cool. Of course, you got Jokers as well. It's just a regular plain deck, but uh, it's got a lot of different Jason Voorhees on there, so you can see. Pretty cool. I'm probably going to try and play with it at some point. Oh, that one's in. That, you, one remembers that pose it tells you each of the ones the movies that the pictures are from too I guess Freddy versus Jason there wow the thousand faces of Jason Voorhees in Camp Crystal Lake. The boat. Pretty awesome. 
Anyway, just wanted to show that, share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you could see them pretty well. I know the shadows are a problem, but... Bye.